Dr. Gerard Duran, which is my advisor. I will uh, share my master thesis, but just the uh, qualitative phase of the mixed method study, which is titled Designing Assessment for Learning Practices in Physical Education Lessons by Using the Spectrum of Teaching Styles Framework, a qualitative study. And I would like to let you know that this presentation was supported by the funds received from Spectrum Institute for Teaching and Learning. A physical education teacher who aims to actuate that his or her students in the assessment and evaluation processes should not allow students to grade themselves. He, he or she could, uh, encourage, should encourage them to use the evidence of learning generated via assessment practices to design their future learning. Summative assessment serves the uh, idea of accountability. Formative assessment is the process of collecting data that will guide its uh, long term. But the assessment of learning is the process of planning future learning during the same day class or task by using evidence of learning by the individual peer and teacher. Among the others, assessment, assessment for learning is the approach that most effectively supports engaging students in their learning. In studies examining assessment for learning in the physical education uh, context, Students comment that the time they spend on the AFL practices reduces their physical activity time. On the other hand, the teachers knowledge that they had limited educational understanding and the competence levels in this approach. Uh, even if they implemented close to ideal assessment for learning, they feel that they are not perceived by students. Uh, they were unable to generate the connection between theory and practice. And they complain about the lack of resources, examples, and the greater, pre greater preparation time for the lessons. And there are also studies where researchers suggest different versions and leadership techniques according to the characteristics of the students group in order to improve the implementation. According to these findings, it was determined that the innovative and tangible remedies to the lack of connection between theory and practice were needed. And it was thought that the data should be collected through an experimental design in order to make findings influential. For the first time in a PE context and the assessment for learning literature, uh, the effectiveness of spectrum teaching styles theoretical framework for planning assessment for learning practice in PE lessons has been reviewed, reviewed in the study. And it also contains inexperienced users, uh, checks the fidelity of assessment for learning practices objectively, and provides methodological information in details. Uh, I want to speak about the spectrum of teaching styles. Uh, the experimental study uh, lessons were uh, planned with the spectrum teaching styles framework in the study. The framework is built on two axioms. Uh, the first one is every deliberate act of teaching is the result of a previous decision, and the teaching behavior is a chain of decision making. This chain of decision making must be made in a pre impact, impact, and post impact of the lesson. Uh, so, Spectrum focuses on who makes which decisions about what and when to identify structure of decision for each style. In each consecutive, uh, consecutive uh, spectrum, spectrum style, specific decisions are systematically shifted from teacher to learner. Three teaching styles from this framework have used as a facilitator to establish a link between theory and practice in assessment for learning practices in the phase of planning lessons of this study. Uh, which spectrum styles we used in the study and why? The first one was the reciprocal style, because this style encouraged peer assessment in the lessons. Self-check style and the inclusion style, both of these styles uh, focuses on the effective use of self-assessment and provide autonomy to students in this regard. The research design uh, among the proposed mixed method designs, this study based on the partially mixed sequential equal status design. The first question was, how are the five key strategies of assessment for learning used in lesson plans and the task sheets that are designed with the spectrum of teaching styles? The second question was, how was the experiences of the PE teacher in integrating AFL into PE lessons? The quantitative phase of this mixed method study will not be discussed in this presentation. Four different nine classes were included as participants, and these classes were randomly assigned to the experimental and the control groups. The students don't have any experiences of structured PE lessons. 
the physical education teacher was 26 years old woman. So she had two years of experience, uh, mostly teacher-centric and summatively assessed her students, but uh, graduated from the contract with understanding for, and a formative assessment for this teacher education program two years ago. The intervention school was in the Asian region of Turkey, private technical co-education of high school. There was no gym and only one uh, PE teacher works in school. The teacher has received a total of 20 hours of training from researchers on five different days. The subject of the first day was spectrum of teaching style framework. The second day subject was the assessment for learning strategies. Then in the day third, uh, we discuss about how to use the spectrum of teaching style framework as a tool to link theory and practice. In the day four, developing the draft lesson plans and the assessment tools. In the last day, the subject was examining the studies and assessment for learning literature, focusing on their practical suggestions. The learning outcomes, teaching styles, contents, number of, number of tasks, and the duration of the text of the lessons in both groups for six weeks were planned to be the same. Below, you can see the teaching styles and the tasks used in the lessons week by week. There was also differences between intervention and control groups. Number of assessments. Uh, was the first one, the, a total of a, a 54 assessment practices in 22 texts were held, held through six lessons in the intervention group, while only six summative assessment practices were done in a total of 22 tests throughout the six lessons in the control group. And the different methods such as self, peer, and group assessment, as well as tools like rubrics, control this questioning comments were used in the intervention group. and only some of the questions were used at the end of the lessons in the control group. And students generated evidence of learning in each task through assessment practices and then had an opportunity to study using this evidence in the same task in the intervention group, while students never produced or used the learning evidence in the control group. The qualitative data collected through semi structured interview uh, with PE teacher, researcher field notes, and the documents like lesson plans, test sheets, and video recordings. And assessment for learning measurement instrument used, uh, used for the systematic observations. In the data collection procedures, educational PE teacher and ethics committee permissions taken before the study. And the first and second weeks, the consent form and cluster randomization were realized. And the intervention was held between three and eight weeks and the researcher took field notes and video recordings in these weeks. And in the math weeks, interview with key teacher and systematic observations were done. So who are the authors and how they have interact? The first author, author is graduate students with no teaching experience, and he guided the PE teacher in all processes. The second author is a lecturer. She is guided the first author in all processes. Before the study, the first author visited the school and observed the teacher. And in the education of teacher, both authors, authors actively participated. In the intervention, the first author took video records and made observations in all lessons. And the true the intervention, he spent three days at, a week at, at school and he worked with the teacher on lesson plans. For the trustworthiness, increasing the time, in, increasing the interaction time, peer debriefing, triangulation of data collection tools, member checking and frequent use of direct quotes in reporting were used. And two distinct approaches were used for two different data collection tools for the analysis of qualitative data. The thematic document analysis used to examine how PE teacher implemented five basic assessment for learning strategies on lesson plans and worksheets. And inductive content analysis used for the qualitative data from semi-structured interview with PE teacher. Systematic observation procedures occurred in the three stages as shown on the arrow figure. And as a result, it was observed that the almost perfect agreement level was, was reached in both types of observer agreements. And collected uh, 67 points indicates that fidelity between teachers' interactional behaviors and assessment for learning based assessment practices was high. Uh, in the results of the document analysis, it was decided that the thematic analysis could be useful to analyze whether or not documents such as lesson plans, task sheets, assessment tools that were prepared with the spectrum teaching tests 
framework facilitate practice and assessment for learning strategies. As a result, each uh, assessment for learning strategy is investigated as a sub team. The team one called as the alignment between structural, spectral teaching styles and assessment for learning strategies. Here is the area the strategy called as the sub teams. I will explain them one by one as if in the results. Sub team one was the clarifying understanding and sharing learning intentions. When the lesson plans were analyzed, it became apparent that due to the nature of spectrum teaching styles, the teacher took time right after the warm up game and addressed the learning goals, success criteria, and strong and weak examples of achievement with the students in the lesson plans. And in addition, due to the nature of spectrum teaching styles, the learning goals and the learning criteria were shared with the students in writing by task sheets uh, throughout each lesson. Here, an example sharing learning criteria through worksheets from first week. In the second sub team, engineering effective, effective classroom discussions, tasks, and activities that elicit evidence of learning. Each student in the class generated evidence of learning through self assessment in the subject and inclusion style, as well as peer assessment in the reciprocal style. Evidence of learning was produced and recorded through markings on rubrics and open endings and the uh, comments in the task sheets. Uh, here's the examples of the eliciting learning evidence. Uh, in the sub-team tree, providing feedback that moves learner forward, it was seen that every task in the lesson plans has separated three sequential phase with the eight, eight minutes plus eight minutes and four minutes of example here. Six minutes with the learning practice, two minutes set of peer assessment and generating feed forward by using learning evidences. The, the same cycle for eight minutes and at the end, four minutes of learning practice with the feed forwards and learning evidences. Teacher utilized, utilized the two strategies to allow students develop their own feed forwards. The first one was encourage them to keep focusing on learning criteria found to be lacking by their peers or themselves through the rubrics in the following phase. And the second one is uh, asking open-ended questions that enable learners to assess their own strength and limitations, as well as open-ended questions that challenge them to come up with the solutions to their problems. We, we are seeing the sub-team four and sub-team three. In the sub-team four, uh, the total of 22 peer assessment practices were held in the throughout the six week and when the total of 21 self-assessment practices were held in the, throughout the six weeks in the intervention. In the results of the same structured interview with the teacher, as a result of the inductive content analysis of the individual interview of the teacher, the following themes and sub-themes emerged from the codes and categories. Uh, the team two called as encounter challenges of assessment for learning practices and their effective responses generated by the spectrum of teaching staff framework. I will uh, explain each sub team in the next slides. Although the teacher in the first sub team adaptation and activation of students to assessment for learning practices, although the teacher internalized the assessment for learning practices at knowledge level, she struggled to put the theory into practice in the first weeks and she mentioned it that it is difficult to understand without practice. It took two weeks to, for students to understand what we are doing and why we are doing it. And in the same sub team, uh, students reacted to taking a break while playing games or filling assessment practices in the first weeks. And the teacher made fun enhancing adjustments for the following weeks using team games and a competitive test by considering their feedbacks. Also in the same sub team, students initially avoided recording their mistakes on assessment tools when conducting, conducting self and peer assessments. The teacher constantly reminded them that they could make mistakes. This is a learning process and they should not worry about grades. And in the sub team tree, initially learners did not use the test sheets, including the assessment tools effectively. And instead they relied on the teacher for every detail, the teacher turned the test, test sheets into explanatory solution resources where students could find answers to their possible questions. 
and began directing them more power to the worksheets. And due to the significant amount of questions from students, the teacher encouraged them to be improving their learning by using the learning criteria in the test sheets. And the teacher believed that the worksheets have a positive effect on the student feedback in the class discussion since they include the learning criteria and the used in assessing applications. In the sub team three, the teacher realized that it was hard to perform as many tasks as she used in the past, while in the lesson where she was practicing assessment for learning, the teacher reduced the number of tasks in the next week and increased the duration of assessment practices. And she mentioned in the interaction that we saw that it's difficult to assess, difficult to gather, difficult to return to child to play. We said, let's reduce the number of tasks. And in the same sub-team, sub the teacher had classroom management problems in transition from task to assessment and after assessment to task. After seeing the problem, she started to guide more in transition till it became a routine for them. And when the students saw the modifications, which they, in the sub-team four, when the students saw the modifications which they thought were lacking in the course, considering feedback they, they gave, they developed their attitudes toward the assessment practices in a positive way. And uh, for example, she mentioned it, when we did changes in the next week, students came to me and said that the previous week was bad, but this week we did it, it was better. I was very motivated and the student was also motivated, the teacher said. And when the teacher used the student feedback in designing intervention group lessons, she realized that number of questions and uh, reflections has increased. So the conclusions, importance of the practice in teacher education, lesson and time management, needs for familiarization, crossing the fear of grading threshold, the requirement for the reducing number of tasks, routinization of transition between task and measurement, increase in student curiosity and quality of discussions, using the test sheet as facilitator, and the positive effect of using student feedback while planning lesson is important. So our suggestion is the link between theory and practice uh, can be made with the spectrum of teaching styles. And it's okay to struggle at first. You can try the strategies uh, such as increasing the time allotted for assessment, redu redu reducing the number of tasks, using the worksheet as facilitator, acting more as a guide, designing the lessons using feedback, and recognizing the transition between assessment and the task. And the uh, assessment format learning should not only be taught, but also used in the key teacher education programs. Thank you for this. Thank you.